Hey, what's up, guys? I, I know my mic is scuffed and my room is really messy. And, uh, well, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to make this video because I thought of a really cool idea. Uh, I'm going to do a 100-day challenge. And in this 100-day challenge, I'm going to aim to make $50,000. And I'm going to keep you guys updated every single day. I'm going to keep myself held accountable. And here is my plan. I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to make $50,000. And let's see if I can do it or not. $50,000 for a lot of people is a lot. And for a lot of people, it isn't. But it's $50,000, right? Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be aerating lawns. I'm going to be power raking lawns. I'm going to be delivering furniture for people. And I'm going to be removing junk for people and helping people move places all around North America, basically. So I'm going to advertise for myself and I'm going to be a little piece of cancer and I'm going to solicit. I'm going to go door to door and ask if anyone wants their lawn aerated and power raked. For those of you who don't know what aeration and power raking is, aeration is punching holes in the grass. It's really healthy for the grass. And um, a lot of people hate solicitors. A lot of people hate to get it done. I personally hate soliciting myself. Uh, I think it's really cancer to be a solicitor. But um, it makes up to $500 to $1,500 every single day, which is why people do it. Um, sometimes it feels really, really shitty. People treat you like shit. Uh, solicitors aren't very respected. It's not something I want to do for the rest of my life. But I think it's pretty fun to do for this challenge. So uh, I, I want to do this for the next 100 days. I want to see what happens. I want to see how much money I make. So aeration, punching holes in the ground. The machine is around $1,000. No, it's actually three thousand dollars to rent for three months. It's a thousand dollars a month to rent. It can bring in lots of business depending on where you live. Power raking will remove dead grass. You do this once or twice, or once a year or once every two years. Um, I'm not going to get too far into the details. As for furniture delivery and junk removal, um, this is something you just advertise on Facebook and Craigslist. And whatever platform you're on, all you have to do is market, 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 join as many groups as you can uh, in your local Facebook and just market. To tell people what you're doing, say it how it is, be very direct to the point, be like, hey, this is my name. This is exactly what I do. Just give me a call if you need anything. And uh, I'm on call. So I will work for you right away. You don't have to book or anything. Uh, that usually gets you a lot of clients. The best I've made this year is $900. Um, the worst I've made this year is $0. Uh, I've done it on and off, but I've never been consistent. Why? Because I work for myself and I work by myself. And I'm constantly consumed by social media. And this is why I'm making this challenge is to hold myself accountable. And if I succeed, maybe I can inspire some people and move forward in my life. And I'm really excited to make this challenge. So every single day, I'm going to report my progress. I told you exactly how I'm going to make money. I'm going to be a piece of shit cancer solicitor. And I'm going to advertise junk removal and furniture delivery on Facebook. Now, I know a lot of people can't really do this because you need a truck to help people move. But this is an idea. This is like a startup business, if you're willing to invest $5,000, it can make you up to $50,000 in return is what I think. And I'm about to prove it by finding out. So this is what I'm going to do to make money. How I'm going to do it is quite simple. Every single day for the next 100 days, I'll be waking up at 5 a.m. I'll start off by uh, uh, hitting the gym. That's the first thing I'll do want to get that out of the way as soon as possible, have some coffee, hit the gym. Uh, I'm fasting. I'm Muslim. So I'll do my prayers, drink my coffee right before I start fasting. And I'm going to hit the gym and then I'm going to get right to it. So I will be waking up every single day at 5 a.m. It's part of the challenge. So it's 1045 right now. I'm going to be getting to bed soon so I can wake up on time. And um, Saturdays and uh, Fridays and Saturdays, I will have off. I will do no nothing on those days just to reset my mental. Uh, I don't know if I'll be recording on those days. I'll definitely be recording 100 days worth of work. And to keep myself motivated, I'm going to treat it like a challenge. I feel like if you treat life like a challenge, you're bound to succeed. Whereas if you treat life like a bunch of chores, uh, everything is just going to crumble in your way. Uh, I'm an Andrew Tate fan, and Andrew Tate says people that use stress as a motivator are people that are more likely likely to succeed, and people who use stress as an excuse to to fail are people that are going to just fail. So uh, this challenge is going to put me under a lot of stress. Let's just see how much I can take, and I hope I don't collapse. <sighs> 
yeah, hundred day challenge. Um, I think uh, a few things I want to say before I begin the challenge and end this video is um, the reason why I feel like I should do this challenge and do it right on the spot is because time doesn't really wait for anyone. Uh, recently, I was uh, in jail. And the reason I was in jail, I wasn't in jail, jail. Uh, I'm not guilty of any crimes. I'm a normal citizen of society. But uh, what ended up happening is uh, I got into a fight. It was out of self-defense, but the police don't take sides of the story. They just put me in a holding cell and they put me in that holding cell for 24 hours. Now that's not actual jail, it's just a holding cell. But when I was in there, I thought, wow, 24 hours, it just started. I didn't ask to be there, but I was there. <laughs> and that 24 hours, man, <laughs> it, it it's like, it really makes you stronger. It builds your character. And I realized that when I was in jail, like time didn't wait for me. My future didn't wait for me. It just happened. I was in jail for 24 hours and I hated it. It was fucking boring. There's a toilet in front of you and then they give you McDonald's and you didn't even get access to clean water. Uh, no bottled water. I only drink bottled water. It was just tab water right from the fucking toilet sink. And so with that being said, I realized that, hey, if I'm going to do this 100-day challenge, I may as well treat it like I'm in jail. I won't be listening to any music. I will be not on social media. The only time I'm on social media is to produce content uh, or I'm on YouTube listening to informative content. Uh, other than that, I will be avoiding social media. And um, uh, I just want to see if I can pull this off. Again, it's a challenge. It's supposed to be fun, but it's a tough challenge. I'm going to be waking up every day at 5 a.m. And another point to this challenge is consistency. I want to see how far being consistent in my life actually will be because I've never actually been this consistent where I work for 100 days straight. Obviously, having two days off, in my opinion, is core. Uh, I don't care what people say. I don't care about the people that say, oh, uh, taking breaks is for bitches. Uh, I do not care. I am going to take two days break. I don't care. I'm going to rest my body. I'm going to rest my mind. In those two days, uh, I might be talking to friends and family. Maybe, maybe not. Obviously, there's going to be weeks where uh, I might be moving cities. I might be moving from my current city to another city. Uh, it'll t probably take me two to three days. I will excuse myself. I will still report and I will still keep you guys updated. I will record every single day and I will make a justifiable excuse to why I didn't work, but I will uh, retaliate for that work. If I don't have like a complete emergency for why I didn't work, then I'm just going to work, work, work. Um, obviously, I have court dates because I did get into a fight. I just explained that. Uh, so yeah, I just want to see how far consistency gets me. I think consistency is a very healthy thing. Uh, I think taking care of your mental health and your physical health is very important. And I feel like completing challenges in your life has its own contentment and has its own rewards. If you're not constantly striving to complete challenges, uh, you are not going to feel good. You're just not going to feel good. There are days where I've told myself I'm going to do certain things. And when I do those things, I feel like I'm the man. When I don't do them, I feel like absolute shit. Even if I come close and I just don't end up getting what I want to get, uh, I feel like absolute shit. And so with that being said, uh, I really want to complete this challenge. I'm going to start tomorrow. Probably not the best time to start tomorrow, but I'm still going to start tomorrow. Again, I just, I'm going to use the jail experience and just dive right into this thing and do my absolute best for the next 100 days. Uh, with that being said, there was one more thing I wanted to say. <laughs> Yeah, so my prediction is if I complete this 100-day challenge and I do my absolute best uh, air raiding, power raking, and helping people move and being a garbage man, essentially, uh, I'm predicting that by the end of the 100 days, I'm going to make $50,000. By the end of every single day, I'm going to inform you guys how much money I made. And let's say if I can make $50,000 in the next 100 days, this is going to be the challenge um, for now. And if this... And if I succeed this challenge, then I will make another challenge it's similar to this one, but it will make me even more money. Um, the next challenge I'm going to do after this one is top secret, but there's going to be a, a more interesting challenge in this one. But uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to make $50,000 in this challenge for the next 100 days, and then I'll pay an amazing editor, and that editor will edit this 100 day challenge for me and not make it look so boring. That's my plan. This is what I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll just upload uh, every day on its own. One over the two. Uh, I'm not going to upload this video right away. 
Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to upload. Ooh, it would take some serious balls to update this video right now. To just upload it right now. Oh, <laughs> I just... <laughs> uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Today is... <sighs> Oh shit, today's March 28th, uh, 2023. And yeah, I maybe I'll upload this right now. Maybe I'll upload this right now. And then the morning of every single day, I'll be like, yo, this is what I'm gonna do today. And then I probably won't be able to report what I made that day because I'm on this platform and this platform is basically like, um, it doesn't allow me to edit. This platform is just literally impromptu. I say what I have to say, I upload it and it's done. So th this is my challenge. I don't know yet if I'm gonna be uploading every day or every night, but I'm gonna do my absolute best. Next hundred days, I'm gonna work. I'm working for myself. I'm gonna be a cancer solicitor. Uh, I'm gonna help people move and I'm gonna be uh, Mr. Garbage Man. Let's see if I can make $50,000 in a hundred days. I'll see you guys on day one, which is tomorrow morning.